Hey everybody, Gold Hunter 77 here. You know, just uh, giving you what I promised, and I promised I'd be back in Winston next week. Well, here I am at six in the damn morning. You know, I don't know who the hell else is getting up at five, popping up at five to race over here, <laughs> waiting for daylight to pan gold. I think I'm the only one. Um, oh, there goes somebody else. I don't think they're panning for gold. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I definitely have an early jump on the situation. Um, you know, I just can't sleep in anymore, so here I am. Um, get my stuff together, get back in our same spot, and uh, we'll do some more clips. All right. Okay, we got the sluice box set up here. Same little channel. This is like the perfect little channel. It's like a channel, and then it splits into three other channels. Um, so I, I could even put it over there, but I, the flow just seems perfect right here. This is where I had it last time. And uh, last time I had to put a couple larger rocks in actually in front of my sluice box to slow down the flow. That's a little trick you can do if you have too much flow. Um, this time I had to remove the rocks. Anyways, we are out here in the middle of the river. This is where I got that really good gold last time, but my back was really hurting, and that was only the last two hours of my trip last time, so this is the spot. This is the spot that I started finding that hot color. Right in there, actually. So what it looks, what it looks like is, so the river's coming this way, there's bedrock on the other side there and uh it's just accumulating a lot of debris right in here in this area now a lot of that's loose i tested some of that no good but it sits in this little trough here and that's where that old bedrock is so i'll i'll keep trying in there but down in here it's even lower look how compact this is bedrock moss mud I mean, that's definitely worth a try. I mean, if I'm getting gold right there, one would think that it would just travel down into there. So, definitely going to have to try some of that. Okay, keep you updated in a minute. Okay, you know, we're more or less working in here. And also this crack over in here. Let's see what we can go ahead and get here. Another reason I like to have two buckets, so you always have water for your classifier. We're going to take out this crack right here. Now this crack runs horizontal to the river, and I found good gold right there. So there's a plan here. Should be pretty compact down deep. So I love this little rock hammer. You get down in there. These plants, you pull up the whole root system like this. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I don't want to lose anything, so I'm going to grab my pan. Okay. I'm going to pump this out anyways with the hand pump. Now, we'll do it like that. Got to break these roots up really good. I'll tell you, I don't like the way it feels. It feels sandy. Even though the roots are 
compact. I mean, it's not mud. So you're not always going to find color in roots. If it's just sandy, I mean, I could be wrong, but from my experience, it's really got to be pretty muddy, old, old compact dirt. This, I don't really look like it. This stuff all looks pretty loose. I mean, I'm surprised there was even a plant growing in there, actually. I'm going to switch up spots here. See, that's some old bedrock in there. That's that old bedrock that wants to break apart. That's that's what I like right there, I tell you. Oh yeah. You start getting chunks like that coming off. That's a good sign. I might have to go back and get my pickaxe actually. I didn't think I'd need it, but it would be pretty awesome right here. Taking this apart. <clears throat> There's just old roots growing all in between this old bedrock that's falling apart here. And I bet there's gold in here because there was gold one foot away, so I bet this whole this whole little area is loaded. I'm gonna go back and get my pickaxe. I tell you. This is like I said, this is working. This is doing a little bit of damage, but my my full size pick would just rip through this, man. That's what it's made for that's good looking stuff right there that's got gold in it if you're on the gold I suggest you wash your rocks too gold sticks to a lot of rocks and bedrock you've already gone through the trouble of breaking it all up finding it breaking it up May as well wash them off. I guarantee if you wash all your rocks, all your big stuff, you'll you'll pull out a couple more flakes. Who knows? A picker could be stuck to it. Gold is weird. Sneaky. Sneaky gold. Now what I'm doing is I'm saving all my roots separately. It's just easier to process that way. So I do all my rocks and dirt and this, and then I'll do my roots in a separate bucket and wash them out real good. It's hard to just do them all together. They get jammed up. Now this is looking pretty damn good to me, though. Hopefully this gold continues through here. Take all these rocks, get them washed off here. You'd be tempted just to chuck them, but like I said, it's worth giving them a real quick rinse, I think. The thing about gold mining, gold prospecting, is you got to be very thorough because, first off, your chances of finding gold are pretty damn slim. So when you actually find color, you better do everything you can to to get that color and get the most out of it. Especially this spot, or this river I should say. It's got good gold, but it's not known for big gold. It's, it's all small gold, flakes. Now and then you'll get a, you can get a picker, but even those are kind of rare in this, in this spot of the river. You have to go up in the mountains more to my other spot if you watch my other videos clinkers gemstones all that that's before you start running into the bigger stuff that's nugget country if you're lucky 
I have I've never been that lucky. Speaking of lucky, did you know that your chances of finding a gold nugget are not that great? Actually, you have a better chance of finding a diamond than you do a gold nugget. That's how rare a gold nugget is. Another example, I've been doing this for well over 10 years, maybe 15 years, and I still have not found a nugget. Now, I found something that looked like, you know, about like a BB maybe, but for me, I don't count that as a nugget. You know, that's too small. Micro nugget maybe. Classify, classify, classify. Alright. Fill that bucket up. I'm going to go run it through the sluice. see what's behind door number one. Now I already did one test in that crack I showed you earlier. Um, I got a little bit not worth pursuing so I'm going back to the original spot here. It's that old bedrock in the roots. I have a good feeling about it. The good news is I already have color though. I do have a couple flakes right off the bat so. Woohoo! 177, baby, live and in action. Get some of that Winston gold. My goal today is a half a gram. I think I can do it. If the gold stays as good as it was, I think it's definitely doable. Yep, I'm getting some little color. I tell you, my sluice is set up perfectly. I love this little homemade sluice. Although I probably need a bigger sluice. Sometimes I wonder if I am losing more than, more gold than I think, but I don't think so because almost all of it's usually stuck right in that cheater mat up front, that black indicator mat. <laughs> I feed this really slow. And I run the flow, slow, low angle. Pretty much everything I can do. The only bit downside to that is I can't run as much material. What I do run, I have to take it easy. I don't really know how long I'm going to stay because it's pretty damn smoky from the wildfires. However, today is the first day that I can actually see the sky, so that's good news. Might not choke me out too bad.
Anyways, I'm going to finish running this bucket. It's going to take me a while. We'll be back on the next clip. All right, just digging away here. Um, man, that, that really good color that I was on just damn near vanished. Unbelievable. Dug and dug and dug in that spot. I mean, there was a flake here and a flake there, real small ones. And I worked really hard there for an hour and a half. Said no more of that. So anyways, I'll show you what's going on here. That's the spot where I was doing really good. And you can see I broke the bedrock apart and everything. But it just kind of petered out. I don't know. I, I'm not getting enough there. So... Moved over here, and I started getting bigger flakes and a little bit more color. As you can see, the bedrock just kind of slopes down there under some roots, and there's some real old dirt in there, compact, broken up bedrock. And if you look at this whole area, you'll notice that uh, the river's coming on down here. What happens is it, it hits the bedrock here and these plants, and there's nothing here. It's like a hole. So this would create like a back eddy or a real low pressure area, actually. And I believe that's why I'm finding more color here than anywhere else. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I might have 10, 15 flakes, but not very many big ones. I mean, actually, none of them are big. I got, well, I got one that's a standard size flake and then three or four that are small and then a bunch of micro. But hopefully it'll pick up. So anyways, we're just going to keep back at her. All right, just a little update here. Um, I've been digging everywhere, trying new spots, all kind of around the same little area. And, uh, I mean, there's a little color here and a little color there, but I, I don't know what happened the first day or last weekend. I just got lucky, I guess. Um, I do have colors. I mean, I'm not super disappointed but i really thought i was gonna be on half gram maybe gram gold um right now i don't know i i probably have 20 colors or so in the box i'm gonna run one more bucket and uh i'm about worn out i've been here since six in the morning if you can believe that this afternoon and uh you know i might be more inclined to stay if the gold was better but we'll run this and uh who knows maybe i'll get a big flake and keep keep digging but yeah, all right, more than likely, I'll see you back at the cleanup. Okay, back here at the famous panning station. And uh, I've already taken a sneak peek at this, and I'll tell you right now, I'm shocked, actually. Just considering, uh, you know, I couldn't see much on the black indicator mat. So I guess it was all hiding, huh? <laughs> That ain't too damn bad. I mean, there's... That's got to be well over 100 colors. I I can't even believe it. That stuff was hiding in the carpet because it was not on my, on my cheater mat up front. So I did way better than I thought. I mean, that's twice as much as I thought I had. And a lot of it's uh, smaller stuff, fine stuff. But, I mean, that's a decent quarter gram anyways, you know. Yeah, that's that's a damn good pan just for going to the park. That's there in Winston, so. Yeah, same thing, just working the bedrock, working the roots, and, you know, I moved around quite a bit, and I don't know. I, I Normally, I always see it on my cheater map, but this time, man, it really caught me by surprise, so. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, guys, stick with it. Persevere. Be persistent and be patient. Gold Hunter 77. Until next time.